Good morning, brothers and sisters. Welcome to the Minor Basilica of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag. Today is the feast of St. Albert the Great. Albert of Leonien was born in Swabia, Germany, at the beginning of the 13th century. While a student at the University of Pavia, he was attracted to the order by Blessed Jordan of Saxony. From 1242 until 1248, he taught at the University of Paris, where Thomas Aquinas was one of his students. Albert helped to introduce Aristotelian physics as interpreted by Jewish and the Arabian philosophers into Western thought. From 1248, he taught at Cologne and served as provincial of Germany. Together with St. Bonaventure, he defended the right of the Manitican orders to teach in the universities. He was named Bishop of Radziborn in 1260, but after two years he resigned because he considered himself unworthy. He continued his teaching at Wolfsburg, Straubach at Cologne. In his attempts to blend the wisdom of the saints with human knowledge, he was a distinguished writer and teacher, but he was even more distinguished in his life of holiness and his pastoral charity. He had a deep devotion to the Blessed Sacrament and to the Virgin Mother, who according to legend led him to the order of preachers. Because of his writings, he is called the Great and the Universal Doctor. He died at Cologne on November 15, 1280. In 1459, Pope Pius II declared him a Doctor of the Church. In 1931, Pope Pius XI declared him a Saint, and Pope Pius XII named him Patron of those involved in the Natural Sciences. We will now have the morning prayer of the Church, integrated with the celebration of the Holy Mass. We invite you to actively participate in our prayers. Please stand. Lord, open my lips, and, and my, my mouth, mouth shall, shall declare, declare your praise. Come, let us worship God, source of knowledge and strength. Come, let us worship God, source of knowledge and strength. Come, let us sing to the Lord, and shout with joy to the rock who saves us. Let us approach Him with praise and thanksgiving, and sing joyful songs to the Lord. Come, let us worship God, source of knowledge and strength. The Lord is God, the mighty God the great king over all the gods. He holds in his hands the depths of the earth and the highest mountains as well. He made the sea, it belongs to him, the dry land too, for it was formed by his hands. Come, let us worship God, source of knowledge and strength. Come then, let us bow down and worship, bending the knee before the Lord our Maker, for he is our God and we are his people the flock he shepherds. Come, let us worship God, source of knowledge and strength. Today, listen to the voice of the Lord. Do not grow stubborn as your fathers did in the wilderness. When at Meribah and Massah, they challenged me and provoked me, although they had seen all of my works. Come, let us worship God, source of knowledge and strength. Forty years I endured that generations. I said, they are a people whose hearts go astray, and they do not know my ways. So I swear in my anger, they shall not enter into my rest. Come, Come let us worship God, source of knowledge and strength. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Come, let us worship God, source of knowledge and strength. Please be seated. 
One gains this sacred knowledge more by prayer and devotion than by study. O God, you are my God, for you I long. For you my soul is thirsting. My body pines for you like a dry, weary land without water. So I gaze on you in the sanctuary to see your strength and your glory. For your love is better than life. My lips will speak your praise. So I will bless you all my life. In your name I will lift up my hands. My soul shall be filled as with a banquet. My mouth shall praise you with joy. On my bed I remember you. On you I muse through the night. For you have been my help. In the shadow of your wings I rejoice. My soul clings to you. Your right hand holds me fast. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Lord, fix the roads of my tree in heaven and not in the earth, that I may be found faithful, not by the foliage of words, but by the fruit of good words. Bless the Lord, all you works of the Lord. Praise and exalt him above all forever. Angels of the Lord, bless the Lord. You heavens, bless the Lord. All you waters above the heavens, bless the Lord. All you hosts of the Lord, bless the Lord. Sun and moon, bless the Lord. Stars of heaven, bless the Lord. Every shower and dew, bless the Lord. All you winds, bless the Lord. Fire and heat, bless the Lord. Cold and chill, bless the Lord. Dew and rain, bless the Lord. Frost and chill, bless the Lord. Ice and snow, bless the Lord. Nights and days, bless the Lord. Light and darkness, bless the Lord. Lightnings and clouds, bless the Lord. Let the earth bless the Lord. Praise and exalt Him above all forever. Mountains and hills, bless the Lord. Everything growing from the earth, bless the Lord. You springs, bless the Lord. Seas and rivers, bless the Lord. You dolphins and all water creatures, bless the Lord. All you birds of the air, bless the Lord. All you beasts, wild and tame, bless the Lord. You sons of men, bless the Lord. O Israel, bless the Lord. Praise and exalt Him above all forever. Priests of the Lord, bless the Lord. Servants of the Lord, bless the Lord. Spirits and souls of the just, bless the Lord. Holy men of humble heart, bless the Lord. Hananiah, Azariah, Mishael, bless the Lord. Praise and exalt Him above all forever. Let us bless the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Let us praise and exalt Him above all forever. Blessed are you, Lord, in the firmament of heaven. Praiseworthy and glorious and exalted above all forever. O God, you have given us life by the death of your Son. You nourish us with his flesh and blood. May we bless you forever. Sing a new song to the Lord, his praise in the assembly of the faithful. Let Israel rejoice in its maker. Let Zion's sons exult in their king. Let them praise his name with dancing and make music with timbrel and harp. For the Lord takes delight in his people. He crowns the poor with salvation. Let the faithful rejoice in their glory. Shout for joy and take their rest. Let the praise of God be on their lips and a two-edged sword in their hand. To deal out vengeance to the nations and punishment on all the peoples. To bind their kings in chains and their nobles in fetters of iron. To carry out the sentence preordained. This honor is for all his faithful. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Please stand. Let us pray. God of truth, you made Albert renowned for the gift of combining human wisdom with divine faith. May we remain true to his teachings, and through the advance of human science, come to a deeper knowledge and love of you. We ask this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated.
A reading from the book of Sirach. My son, from your youth embrace discipline. Thus will you find wisdom with graving hair. As though plowing and showing, draw close to her, then await her bountiful crops. For in cultivating her you will labor but little, and soon you will eat of her fruits. How awesome she is to the unruly! The fool cannot un abide him. If you are willing to listen, you will learn. If you give heed, you will be wise. Frequent the company of the elders. Whoever is wise, stay close to him. Be eager to hear every godly discourse. Let no wise saint escape you. If you see a man of prudence, seek him out. Let your feet wear away his doorstep. Reflect on the precepts of the Lord. Let his commandments be your constant meditation. Then he will be enlightening your mind, and the wisdom you will desire, he will grant. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Lord, teach me your decrees. Lord, teach me your decrees. How shall the young remain sinless? By obeying your words. I have sought you with all my heart. Let me not stray from your commands. Lord, teach me your decrees. I treasure your promise in my heart, lest I sin against you. Blessed are you, O Lord, teach me your statutes. Lord, teach me your decrees. With my tongue I have encountered the decrees of your lips. I rejoice to do your will, as though all riches were mine. Lord, teach me your decrees. Please stand. Alleluia, alleluia. our hearts, O Lord, to listen to the words of your Son. Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. be with you and with your spirit a reading from the holy gospel according to luke glory to you O lord at that time jesus came to jericho and intended to pass through the town now a man there named zacchaeus who was a chief tax collector and also a wealthy man was seeking to see who jesus was but he could not see him because of the crowd for he was short in stature. So he ran ahead and climbed a sycamore tree in order to see Jesus, who was about to pass that way. When he reached the place, Jesus looked up and said, Zacchaeus, come down quickly, for today I must stay at your house. And he came down quickly and received him with joy. When they saw this, they began to grumble, saying, He has gone to stay at the house of a sinner. But Zacchaeus stood there and said to the Lord, Behold, half of my possessions, Lord, I shall give to the poor. And if I have extorted anything from anyone, I shall repay it four times over. And Jesus said to him, Today, salvation has come to this house, because this man too is a descendant of Abraham. For the Son of Man has come to seek and to save what was lost. Brothers and sisters, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. 
Please be seated. Gadang gumaga po sa ating lahat. The challenge was met and the struggle began, but with focused mindset and perseverance, Zacchaeus was able to achieve his goal, and that is to see the Lord. Looking at Zacchaeus' story that way, it must be a wonder, wonderful perspective if we are in the quest of building accolades for the glory of man. But I tell you, it is a terrible loss of sight if we are in pursuit of seeing the glory of God. Zacchaeus indeed gave everything he got, even risking his life by climbing a tree in his small stature. But with all of those efforts, that made possible his encounter with Jesus, his very goal, his success story. And so we might say, hey, that's me. Zacchaeus is me. I worked very hard, I gave all I got, I followed every rule, and so I succeeded in life. My success story, now I enjoy the blessing of God. But my dear brothers and sisters, do you think this is what God wants us to see? Do you think this is what God wants us to say? Was that really what transpired to the story of Zacchaeus? Man's success. Is that where our focus are into? If we can give God a chance, I think this is what really happened to the story of Zacchaeus. God loved us first and so we have the chance to love him back. God loved us first and so we have the chance to love him back. It was God's initiative through his loving son that gave the opportunity to Zacchaeus to be able to encounter Jesus. Remember, Jesus' trip to, Jer to Jericho, being a sin city, was not typical for a Jewish leader during his time. Eating with prominent sinners, we all heard what they said. But still, Jesus' love conquered, overtaken all these walls and hindrances to be able to sit at table with Zacchaeus and invade his house with God's love. Thus his words, Zacchaeus, hurry down, I must stay at your house. A success story of man or a success story of God? That is God's love. Invading, immersive, moving, inspiring, transforming. Now if we say that the story of Zacchaeus is about our success story, hey, we might be missing the good news. Surely, Zacchaeus did not, did not miss it, for he knew that it was all about God. It was all God's love. It was God's grace entering invading, staying in his house, his life. 
Now we ask, whose success story is building or flourishing in our lives right now? Ours or God's? Magsitayo po tayong lahat. God continually moves us to seek Him so that we may share His divine life. Now with confidence, let us present our prayers by saying, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. That the Church may continue to welcome those who seek forgiveness and inner peace. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That those who run business and industry may be generous and just. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That we may be prepared to welcome the Lord whenever He comes into our lives and allow Him to make His home in us. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the sick may see in their trials and suffering the redeeming cross of Christ. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our Pope, the College of Bishops, parents, relatives, benefactors, and for all those whom we promise to pray, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For the Bishops of the Philippines, and for our brothers and ministry at St. Thomas Aquinas and St. Raymond of Fenerbahce, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For the intentions of the devotees and pilgrims of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawa, and for our personal intentions. We pray. Lord, hear our prayer. That the dead may be rewarded with everlasting happiness in the life of the world to come. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Father, all creation longs for your glory to be revealed. Comfort us by your presence and help us to persevere in faith. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Please stand. Pray, my dear friends, that your sacrifice and mine may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. Loving God, accept these gifts which we offer you on the feast of our brother Albert and make us an acceptable gift to you. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For us on the festival of St. Albert the Great, you bid your church rejoice. So too you strengthen her by the example of his holy life, teach her by his words of preaching, and keep her safe in answer to his prayers. 
And so with the company of angels and saints, as we sing the hymn of your praise, without end we acclaim. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Hosanna in the highest. Hosanna in the highest. Hosanna in the Fount of all holiness, make holy therefore these gifts we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it, gave it to his disciples saying, Take this all of you and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith This bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again, until you come again, we proclaim your death, O Lord. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and a chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, Socrates, our Bishop, Fidelis, his assistant Bishop, Gerard, our Master, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, the Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, with Saint Dominic, Saint Albert the Great, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Stand. At the 
the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we all dare to pray. graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior Jesus Christ for the kingdom the power and the glory are yours now and forever Lord Jesus Christ who said to your apostles peace I leave you my peace I give you look not on our sins but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will who live and reign forever and ever amen the peace of the lord be with you always and with your spirit we offer each other the sign of peace lamb of god you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Please kneel. Behold Jesus, the Lamb of God, the Son of Mary. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. For posit sacrilege Christi custodia te invita metania.
प्लीज सोल स्टैंड सन फॉलो आफ्टर विस्टम एंड लिसन टू द वर्ड्स ऑफ माई माउथ इन विस्टम आई एस्टाब्लिश द अर्थ एंड इन प्रूडेंस आई मेक द हैवेंस फर्म Blessed be the Lord the God of Israel. He has, he has come to his people and set them free. He has set up for us a mighty savior, born of the house of his servant David. Through his holy prophets he promised of old that he would save us from our enemies, from the hands of all who hate us. He promised to show mercy to our fathers and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath he swore to our father Abraham. to set us free from the hands of our enemies free to worship him without fear holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our life you my child shall be called the prophet of the most high for you will go before the lord to prepare his way to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of their sins in the tender compassion of our god the dawn from on high shall break upon us to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death and to guide our feet into the way of peace glory to the father and to the son and to the holy spirit as it was in the beginning is now and will be forever amen son follow after wisdom and listen to the words of my mouth in wisdom i establish the earth and in prudence i made the heavens firm Let us pray. Lord, you feed us with Christ, the living bread, and instruct us through Christ, the teacher. On this feast of our brother Albert, may we learn your truth and live it in charity. Through Christ, our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you all. The Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The mass is ended. We all go in peace. Thanks be to God. We shall now have the prayer for the blessing of the sick and the blessing of our rosaries and other religious articles. Our help is in the name of the Lord. Who made heaven and earth. Let us pray. God, our Almighty Father, by your blessing you give us strength and support in our frailty. Turn with kindness towards our brothers and sisters. Free them from all illness and restore them to good health. through the intercession of our lady of the rosary of manawa so that in the sure knowledge of your goodness they will gratefully bless your holy name we ask this through christ our lord amen in memory of the mysteries of the life death and resurrection of our lord jesus christ and to the honor and glory of the blessed virgin mary mother of christ and mother of the church our lady of the rosary of manawa May these rosaries, images, candles, oils and other religious articles, our devotees and pilgrims be blessed and made holy. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen.